Hello, I'm Peter. You are? Pleased to make your acquaintance. Thank you so much indeed for listening to today's episode of Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice. We've been talking over the last week or so, haven't we, about knowing who your audience is, knowing who you're supposed to be having that conversation with, because only then can you get into the vibe, get into the zone, get into the feeling, uh, promote the personality within yourself of conversationalism. If you know who you're having a conversation with, we've said it before, haven't we? You could have a script, but if you don't know if you're delivering it to grad students or senior citizens, you won't know how to present the same words. You won't know what style to present it with. I used another kind of example, didn't I, a few weeks ago. You could be presenting about rowing across the Atlantic. But if you don't know whether you're talking to people who've previously rowed across the Atlantic or whether it's people who would like to row across the Atlantic, or the people that would never dream of rowing across the Atlantic, even though the words could be exactly the same, your whole style of presentation and where you are on that that that, that line between an announcer voice and a conversational voice with all of the different factors and elements of tone and pitch and pace and pause and volume, all of the things we've spoken about over the last 14, 16 months on the podcast, yeah, all of those come into play depending on who it is that you're talking to. So we know who you're talking to now, but who are you? You need to know your role in this script reading process, don't you? What perspective you're speaking from, what gives you the right to pass on this information or advice? I mean, Are you a voice of God, a disembodied, unnamed voice that makes announcements and pronouncements and therefore no emotion? Are you a representative of the company, perhaps seemingly an employee or brand ambassador talking to potential clients? How do you know? Look for phrases such as call us or we'd like to help and so on. Um, Incidentally, I I personally think there's a bit of a brand disconnect when a commercial features a a famous voice in the role of a brand ambassador. Because hearing a famous actor talk as though they are a member of staff of a supermarket or a bank or whatever just sounds unrealistic, disingenuous and actually plain daft. I know the actor is only paid to front the ad, so I don't give the impression that they work there full time because to me that's daft. You know, here at Superstore ABC, we've created the finest Indian cuisine. Or call us at ABC Bank, where we have experts who can advise you on your pension plan. And you're thinking, no, you're you're, you're the guy that does the breakfast show on the radio station. Or, no, 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 you're you're, you're the woman from that TV series. What are you saying, we? No, no, it's it's nonsense. Anyway, you've got to know who you are. Voice of God kind of sound. A representative of the company, you're going to be promoting your voice, your presentation in a slightly different way. Or you could be pretending to be a friend or neighbour of the listener. Want a new sofa in time for Christmas? Or maybe a reassuring expert, such as a, a, a doctor or dentist. I know just how painful receding gums can be, and so on and so on and so on. If you haven't been given a character brief as part of your direction notes on your script, you could go one step further yourself and think for a few seconds about who your character could be. You know, who they are and how they know the listener. Are are you pretending to be a close friend of the listener, a a confidant or or passing acquaintance? You could think about their their name and age, add a little bit of detail, where they are talking to them. Are, are, Are they over a garden fence? Are you speaking to them at the school gate or in an office? All of these different things will help you get into character for who you are and therefore the personality that you want to give in this conversation you're having with them. It's great to know who you are talking to, who you are having the conversation with, but you also need to know the other side of the coin, the other part of that conversation, yeah? Who you are. Who you are in this role in the script to give you the right to pass on this information in the first place. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. (laughs) 